Okay, hello everyone, and I am going to make this very quick, but this will be the live demonstration of how to integrate that metadata that we talked about uh, to actually generate images. So with that being said, and I will go ahead and share my screen now and show you all this. So this is actually something I created. And what I did here exactly is almost, and I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it here. If you wanna pause the screen and read through everything, feel free to do that now. I will be moving a little bit quickly. I wanna make this as short a video as possible instead of reading through everything here. So feel free to pause and read through all the metadata schemas that I have put available. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll find the metadata schemas for creating a celestial event. On the right-hand side, you'll find the metadata schemas for creating um, some foxes, for creating artwork of foxes playing in, the, a Mo, in a Monet kind of way. So I am going to go ahead and scroll down now and show the second half of the metadata schemas. Again, feel free to pause me and read through everything now. If you haven't paused me, pause me now. As I scroll down, the very last ones you'll see here, feel free to pause. And I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and just show you what this looks like. So on the left-hand side, you'll see for event type, I have the nebula formation. On the right-hand side, you'll see animals, foxes. Two very different things, right? Are you going to create artwork about an animal such as foxes? And are how, what are they doing? Are they playing? Is it springtime? Is it uh, what colors, what artist inspiration, descriptors, right? All these things are important. And because we are talking about Monet, one of the things we'll, um, that is also important is what medium is it? In our case, it is oil. Give me one second, everyone. Yeah, just wanna make sure that I'm sharing the right screen. On the left-hand side, you'll see the nebula formation. And if you know a lot about astronomy, one of the things that you might actually know is spectral class is really important. Different spectral classes have different colors already built into them. So do you want the colors to come from the spectral class or do you wanna actually name the colors, right? Do you actually wanna talk that it's, uh, or, or let, let the AI generator know that you want red, pink, and purple? That's very different than putting spectral class O. And I'll go ahead and give you a minute if you wanna pause the screen and look how I created an answer to all those metadata schemas now. I am going to go ahead and move on since uh, I did let you all know I will be moving fairly quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that share and share my screen now. Of, here we go. Screen two. And this is actually what it looks like, right? These are some of the foxes that I generated. And you'll see here animal, foxes, playtime, spring, right? You'll see that it says impressionism, fluffy, joyful, cheerful, late afternoon oil, third person. And these are the images I'm getting for the, for our, and uh, let me get this right, for our nebula formation. These are some examples that I, that I was able to uh, obtain using, that met, using those metadata schemas. Now I went ahead and just copy and pasted. Typically you wouldn't wanna do that. You would wanna actually just put nebula formation. Maybe, maybe when you save the image, that's when you put the event ID, but maybe you would just put nebula formation the magnitude, colors, constellation. The level of information is ultimately up to you. What I do recommend, so, uh, which is why I picked the example of astronomy versus foxes, is you want to become familiar with the metadata schemas of different uh, industries or things or persons or ideas. In this case, um, part of the metadata schema might involve the constellation. What constellation are we looking at since we're talking about a nebula formation? Uh, compare that to foxes or anything else, right? Even if we were to talk about a ship, right? Well, you would want to know the different parts of a ship. What does the ship look like? What is it made out of? The metadata schemas that are applicable to creating art are only as important as you make them. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and continue my, my little bit of a rant and say this though. When it comes to music, you are a little bit more limited. You are a little bit more limited. And what I mean by that is, let's look at this voice mod, which actually allows you to create singer and lyrics as well, versus something like Soundful. And what it does is you have to choose at least one, right, when you start off. And we're gonna say that where this is just for video creator. 
And then you have to set up your genres, right? What you have to choose your favorite genres. So when it comes to music, as you can tell, you're not really having say within the metadata, what kind of hip hop are we talking about? But with art you do. And I will say this, it is my firm belief that certain AI applications will allow you to have more control by allowing you to input different metadata schemas, such as when creating art. While other industries such as music do not uh, or will not and uh, probably don't want you to create metadata schemas using their AI. And uh, this is a good example here because in both sides, you could see that everything's already created. I'm not letting in, I don't even know what levitate means, but we could hear it. La, 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 la. And in sound pool, you'll see that you have all these different things. I'm gonna go ahead and hit hip hop. And you'll see like, this is kind of what we're looking at, moods and themes. Uh, some of these things are already kind of integrated, right? Again, you come back here, let's put levitate next. These are the singers even that voice mod. These are all the singers that voice mod will allow you to choose from. So let's pick add. And then let's pretend um, I love metadata. And you name the song, you have your artist, and you create the song. And it's that simple. So I encourage you all to take control of where you can uh, or of things you can and use the metadata to create as much by um, as 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 detailed and as beautiful and as descriptive and and as imaginative artwork as you can, given that you have the access to influence the artwork via metadata schemas. When it comes to music, you will be a little bit more limited, but that's a conversation for a different time. I know I ranted a little bit, wanted to keep this short. Thank you all for being here and I'll see you in the next one.